Hello, I'm Chef Johnny, and you found Texas style barbecue and cuisine. Appreciate you dropping by. Today, doing a little video, we're going back into the camping style of things. A lot of y'all like my Dutch oven dishes, so we're cooking Dutch oven today. Uh, gonna do a great, I'm gonna call it my uh, meat lover's pasta dish. So stick around and let me show you how we do that. First thing I'm going to do is, is get some charcoal going and uh, I'm going to use my little charcoal starter from a camp made. Tell you what, this is handy. It'll fit inside of my 12 inch Dutch oven and it folds up in there. Got a little bag you can put it in. But after you got it, you just fold it. Then once you get it all undone, take your grate. Grate folds down, locks in place. And you got a handy little chimney starter. Just about enough for a 10 or 12 inch oven, just as many coals as you need. You don't always need one of those great big chimneys full. So this works great. So I'm gonna get some uh, charcoal in there, get it lit. See if we can get this cook going. Charcoal's ready. We're gonna start cooking up some of our ingredients that go in this dish. Just gonna take my charcoal here, dump it out. And that is good and hot, so it's gonna get our pan good and hot. Normally I wouldn't put this much underneath if I was cooking, but what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna fry up some meat, brown some meat, saute some vegetables, so we want it pretty hot. So I put four coals back in there, and the reason I did that, why, is I'm gonna get a few more charcoals going so that we can uh, put these on the lid here in a few minutes. By the time we're ready to do that, these will be ready to go. I think that's good. I'll move this starter, chimney starter out of the way. Bring this one over here. Move those around. It's going to be pretty hot. Get my Dutch oven right up on top. Lids off. Let that start heating up. Let's get a little oil in this pan. Now this pan is good and hot. Now I'm going to drop in some uh, cremini mushrooms. We're going to saute those up. Now if you're not familiar with cremini mushrooms, uh, they are Button mush, nothing wrong. If you like button mushrooms, get some of those. But these creminis are a lot more flavorful. Uh, you'll see them marketed as baby bellas because uh, they're like a young uh, portobello mushroom. But one thing about them is, is uh, do them by themselves. You want to start drawing water out because they're going to produce water. So we're going to try to draw some water out of these, get those out, and then we'll start our next items. I think we start taking these out now. Next item going in is a medium onion diced up. You can tell my coals are still hot up underneath here. This is sizzling very good. Softening up this onion. Now along with our onions, I'm going to put a whole uh, bell pepper. Drop it in there. Let these veggies get soft. Next item is, is some venison burger. Probably a eh, pound and a quarter, pound and a half maybe. Break this up. And I'm just going to let it cook in with my onions and peppers. They're going to keep softening. And this meat is going to start absorbing their flavors. Time for some seasoning. Black pepper, garlic, put some just Italian herbs and seasonings. It's just an Italian mix. And last item is, you see here, good little amount of red chili flakes. And I tell y'all, when y'all look below, the exact recipe, most of it's going to say two tastes because it's I always just kind of, when I'm camping, that's kind of what I do. I don't always measure out everything. 
we're going to brown this up. I'm going to drop my mushrooms back in. Right on top of that meat, it's cooked all the way through. Stir those in. You can tell this is going to be a real hearty dish. Next is I have a bunch of sliced up hot Italian sausage. Now, good thing to do with this, either cook it before you come, or if you're having, say, hamburgers or something the night before, or the meal before, go ahead and throw these on the grill and cook them up. Then you can let them cool off and slice them. They'll be ready to go. It's about a pound of Italian sausages, hot. I did forget some salt while ago, so I'm gonna drop some salt in here. And now it's all about bringing things up to temperature. Our next item is half a pound of pepperonis. Now, leftovers. I had some uh, pasta sauce left over the other night. And this is just so we're going to add more meat. Normally I wouldn't have this much meat, this extra amount of meat. But for today, I had that left at the house. So we're using it. And then after that, we're going to use some, use some Prego, roasted garlic and herb. Full container. Spread that in. Now let's stir all this sauce in here. And you could just bring one big container of, if you don't like Prego, if you like Ragu or whatever brand you like, just by all means grab it. Use the one you like. And on top of that, I'm adding some pre-cooked pasta, rotini, some people call them corkscrew pasta, whatever you want to call them, but we're going to stir them down into our meat. And by all means, just cook these before you go, put them in a good Ziploc bag. And that is a pound, and if I don't look like I got enough sauce today, I did bring a little extra, so. We're going to see if we need some more. Well, you can see we're starting to bubble through there a little bit. I'm going to add some Parmesan cheese. Hoop. I don't want to use all that. But good little amount right through there. And this dish is not going to be shy of cheese here. I'm going to Add some mozzarella. Spread it around. Well, I tell you what, being out here in the sun, this mozzarella got soft. Let's just move it around a little bit. Let that get ready to melt. It says this is just an Italian blend, so we're going to put a four cheese Italian blend on top of this. Top of that, a little sharp cheddar for color. And there we go. I'm going to change my fire configuration just a little bit. And I'm going to add some heat to the top. Wipe down this top edge good. I think I spilt on it off. Let's set that right up on top. Now I'm going to move this whole unit off for a second. If you'll look, we have too much coals in the center. That's where you burn. So <clears throat> for a 350 degree fire, this one's already hot. I can eliminate about half of these coals. Bring those out. I only need about 10 or 12 underneath. But normally you'd go size of your oven. I got a 12 inch oven. So that would be 12 double it's 24 plus two 26. And that would give me about that 350 degree fire. But we want everything on the outer edge. If we put it on the outer edge, it'll radiate to the middle. And we won't get that hot spot and burn in the middle of our oven. Take some of those I took off. So we took 26. That would mean I'd be 13, right? If we went half and half. So now I take two off the bottom and go to the top. So that's 11 on bottom. 13 on top. I've got my chimney heating up those other few I needed. 
And let's see what we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fourteen, and fifteen. Gonna let that go for fifteen minutes. We'll spin it a quarter of a turn. Spin the lid the opposite direction. Y'all have seen me do that before. Let it go about 30 minutes and it should be ready. It has been 15 minutes, so like always, pick it up, quarter of a turn, take the lid without lifting it up, okay? If you're looking, you're not cooking, so don't lift the lid up. Just like that, another 15 minutes, we'll be ready to go. I'm going to drop these last few charcoals up on top and just for the last few minutes and the reason why I'm doing this is, is just to uh, maybe brown up that cheese a little bit up on top. So look, trim it here on the side. I'm grab my lid and pick it up. See how this dish looks. Oh yeah. It is bubbling good. It could probably use a little more browning up on top, but I'm not worried about that bottom getting any more heat because it's, it's cooking, it's boiling all the way through. So that looks really good. We'll set the lid back on top. Pick this up. Brown a little bit on the top, but that bottom can start cooling. That browned it up real good. Nice and brown on the top. Would have went any longer, would have been in trouble. That looks pretty. You can tell it's hot, it's still bubbling and that's just from the heat, pretty much from the bottom and the top. We'll take it all the way off the fire, sit it on the table. Bring it up. Now, we've got it cooked up. Tops are brown nice as you can see been sitting and cooling for a minute so we're going to cut into it see how it tastes see if we can get in here and cut some of this out i tell you it's going to be cheesy and it's going to be packed full of meat this is definitely a meat lover's dish make sure we get plenty of that sausage Mm. That does look pretty. I fixed that first plate. The wife grabbed it and ran. She's been out working in the sun today. I tell you what, it's 100 something degrees here in South Texas today. So we're going to make a second dish. Plate's ready. It's looking good. Get a close up of that. Let's see it up close here. Oh boy, that went out in the sun. <laughs> you can tell. You can tell when it hit that sunshine. Anyways, great plate of my uh, meat lovers pasta. Hmm. Excellent dish. Nothing wrong with that at all. Easy when you're camping. Remember, do all you can beforehand when you're camping. Cook those, cook that pasta up. If you want to go ahead and brown your hamburger meat, do that also. Then you can just put it all together, heat it up, melt the cheese over the top, and you're ready to go. But this is a great dish. Got a yellow jacket down there wanting to try it out, try to stay away. I'm allergic to those. But uh, anyways, easy dish to do. It's a lot of fun to do. I tell you what, folks go outside and cook. Like my buddy Ori says in his channel is go outside and cook. Uh, check him out. Good guy. Has some good things going over there, but it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of entertainment. It's wonderful to be out in, in uh, 
God's, God's world, the creation that he gave us. But I tell you what, I enjoyed this dish. Hope you enjoyed this dish. Thanks for stopping by. I always do appreciate it. If you would, share me with your friends and your family. Uh, tell them what's going on on Texas Style Cuisine. Put us on your social media, and we're going to see you down the road on Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen.